So let's just go through. My self-worth is based on peer acceptance. Do you think if that was a belief system of you, that, it, that if people don't accept me, right, then my self-worth goes down? If you believe that, if people don't accept you in a certain situation, then what are you going to do? Let me tell you, you don't become a chiropractor because you want the world to accept you. <laughs> it's just not why you do it. Right? It's not a socially accepted behavior yet. Now yoga and getting in touch with your inner self, now that's becoming socially accepted. But we're not there yet, right? So, Eating healthy means I have to give up everything that I like. If that's your belief system, then guess what? It's going to happen on this end of the chart. Right? If we don't address that belief system, you're never going to change. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to give up everything that you enjoy eating to be healthy. You don't. You just have to change your beliefs about what food is and what it's for. And why you need it. Why do you need food? Why do you eat food? Do you eat food because it meets an emotional need that should be being met somewhere else? It's okay. I mean, if you do, all right. Awareness is the first step in the whole process. We got to become aware. Setting up boundaries with people was selfish and rude. Right? I set up some boundaries with you earlier. I ask you to be honest with me. And I told you that I reward you when you do, when, when you are, and we would create consequences for when you're not. Those are boundaries, aren't they? Was that re rude and mean? Or was that a way of, of expressing love toward another human being? I've read self-improvement books before. Didn't help. Right? I went to a dentist one time before. You know what? My teeth still got dirty. Heck with that. You know? I used to wake up, brush them every day. The next day I'd wake up, they'd be dirty again. I'm not doing that anymore. That's silly. We laugh. The same logic, right? I used a plumber one time. He took advantage of me. Now, I just let my toilets overflow in the house. You don't think like that, do you? So what? So you tried to get healthy one time and it didn't work. So what? Who cares? You're going to be a victim for the rest of your life because of that? The election and the economy are why I'm not happy. The world's going all wrong. It's not me. What do you want me to do? Right? Turn the news off. <laughs> Diet and exercise don't work for me. My doctor said it runs in my family. I had a personal experience with this. I had a family member come in. He said, well, I don't know what we're going to do now, but he told me my cholesterol is high. I said, okay. I said, well, here's some action steps, right? Let's talk about this. He said, doesn't matter. Runs in my family. No sense. It's a family member. So I had a little bit of free will there. I had a little bit of... I said, let me tell you what runs in your family, champ. What runs in your family is sitting down in your recliner with a spoon and a half gallon of ice cream. You know how I know? I'm in your family. <laughs> and you got to stop it. That's what runs in your family. Right? What runs in your family is doing a sedentary job but not exercising to compensate for it. That's what runs in your family. So I just let them have it. It felt kind of good. <laughs> He received it well. I did it in love with compassion, with a little sarcasm to try to make a point, right? You're not going to believe what happened. His cholesterol went down. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, right? What are you doing to people when you tell them that? Are you just trying to disempower everyone? How about, how about the TV commercials? When diet exercise don't work for you. <laughs> Why would they say that? Why would they say that? When diet and exercise doesn't work, Lipitor. 
right? <laughs> Seriously. There's another tagline there. I wish I could remember it right now. It's really good. but uh, I just don't have time to exercise. Keep coming back to my seminars. In one of the seminars, we break down time. I write, I give you eight hours a night to sleep. I give you 40 hours. I'll give you 50, 60 hours a week to work if you want, right? I'll give you an hour of TV every day. I'll give you an hour of, I'll give you two hours a day of driving time. Do it. Do the exercise when you get home. Add it all up. You'll have more hours left than you know what to do with. You'll be thinking, oh, geez, I've got to use up these hours. I said I was busy and I didn't have time to do any of these things. <laughs> Just do it. That, that's how you want to alter a belief system? That's how you do it. Input. You sit down, you write out the numbers. Okay, if I sleep eight hours, if I work 55 hours, I drive an hour there, an hour back. Okay, I drive two hours, right? Do it. Do the exercise. And tell me how much time. Come in and tell me I'm wrong. I have tried before. I don't want to be different. My friends say, I think I'm better than them. That drives me nuts. Go somewhere and there's someone trying to make a good health decision and three or four people ridicule them for it. Drives me nuts. See it happen all the time. Life's short, man. Just drink it. Life's short. Just eat it. I might die, but I'm going to die happy. Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll take a field trip tonight. We'll all go up to the hospital, walk into rooms where people are dying. We'll say, come on, who cares, man? You're just dying. Who cares? You think those people will laugh with you? Got to die of something. You think they're going to laugh with you? You think they're going to think it's funny? Why do I do that? Why do I do it? Not because I probably didn't say those same kind of things before. Right? I'm sure I did. But because we have to start to think about the belief systems. Because you're really talking about a belief system when these things are coming, you know, when you're, when you're speaking like that. You're, you're talking about how you believe. And, it, and, it's, and it's not going where we want. Statistically, our, our health care system is going to bankrupt our country. If the graph stays the same, I don't care who pays for it. It makes no difference. There's just not enough money to pay for it. So if we don't care about people dying that much, if we don't really care about that, then maybe money will motivate us to do something different. 